Brothers and sisters, this Eucharist is being offered for all our intentions. We sign ourselves in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Many brothers and sisters, as we partake in this Eucharistic celebration on the 13th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we are invited by the Lord to journey with Him in love, to understand that His calling will enable us to do great and mighty things, provided we are willing to focus on the here and now and walk in His way. To ensure that you and I are worthy to partake in this sacred mystery and this invitation, we pause for a moment, acknowledge that we are not perfect and we all need God's grace and God's pardon. And so we have the courage to say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have, mercy. have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And be seated for the readings. A reading from the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they sell the righteous for silver, and the needy for a pair of sandals. Those who trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth, and turn aside the way of the afflicted, a man and his father, go into the same girl, so that my holy name is profaned. They lay themselves down beside every altar on garments taken in pledge, and in the house of their God they drink the wine of those who have been fined. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorite before them, whose height was like the height of the cedars, and who was as strong as the oak. I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. Also it was I who brought you up out of the land of Egypt and led you for forty years in the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite. Behold, 
I will press you down in your place, as a cart full of seas presses down. Light shall perish from the swift, and the strong shall not retain his strength, nor shall the mighty save his life. And he who handles the bow shall not stand, and he who is swift of foot shall not save himself, nor shall he who rides the horse and saves his life. And he who is stout of heart among the mighty shall flee away naked in that there, declares the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response is, Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. Please repeat, Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips, you who despise correction and cast my words behind you? Our response, Mark this, you who are forgetful of God. You who see a thief and befriend him, who throw in your lot with adulterers, who unburdle your mouth for evil and yoke your tongue to deceit, you who sit and malign your own brother and slander your own mother's son. Our response, mark this you who are forgetful of God. You do this and should I keep silence? Do you think that I am like you? I accuse you, lay the charge before you. Our response, mark this you who are forgetful of God. Mark this you who are forgetful of God, lest I seize you and none can deliver you. A sacrifice of praise gives me honour, and to one whose way is blameless. I will show you the salvation of God. Our response, Mark this you who are forgetful of God. Kindly rise. Today harden not your hearts, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Alleluia. Lord, cleanse my heart and my lips, that I may boldly proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus saw a crowd and he gave orders to go to the other side. And a scribe came to him and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus answered him, Foxes have holes, the birds of the air have their nest, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another disciple of Jesus said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of today is a beautiful invitation of following Christ and the price that comes with being his disciples. When the scribe tells Jesus, Teacher, I wish to follow you, Jesus places before him the reality of what following him is all about. And the reality is, first, an invitation into nothingness. The foxes have holes, the birds of the air have the nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. An invitation that following or being a disciple comes with an invitation of absolute nothingness. And once we acknowledge our nothingness, we acknowledge our everythingness. By that I mean, we then understand that in our nothingness, everything is filled with Christ. Everything is filled by his grace. Everything is filled by his love. 
We then given the second invitation of today's gospel, in which we are told, First, Lord, let me go and bury my father. The disciple comes to Jesus and says, First, Lord, let me go and bury my father. And Jesus says, Follow me and leave the dead to bury the dead. It's not that Jesus is being cruel, but he's saying, the moment you choose to be my disciple, to walk with me, we cannot let the cares, the troubles, the routines, and the responsibilities of life weigh us down. But it is an invitation of total surrender, and in that invitation of total surrender, to walk consistently in the way of the Lord. We pray that as we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, we who say we belong to Christ, we are his disciples, give of ourselves totally and completely, acknowledging our nothingness and yet our everythingness in Christ because he fills us with his grace and he gives us the strength to always walk in his way. We thank the Lord for the invitation to be his disciple and we thank the Lord for inviting us to follow him. Let us always grow in God's grace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to goodness, to bread we have received we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, thanks to goodness. This wine we have received, we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Lord, accept these gifts with humble and contract hearts. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands and praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Let us pray. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mystery, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit, spirit, lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord, our God. It, it is, is right, right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do exalt you with the angels and the saints, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of our faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the blessed Mary ever Virgin, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, May we merit to be coerced to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity with the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We turn to each other and offer each other the peace and joy of Jesus Christ. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe eternal life. Amen. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, 
in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all within me, his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth and proclaim the goodness of our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you for joining us at the Holy Eucharist that has been broadcast from Our Lady of the Rosary Church, Dockyard. God bless and have a good day.